Welcome to Peak Clouding, your continuous testing cloud solution. Today, we will look at how to use the single sign-on feature to log in to the Peak Cloudy platform. Before that, let us understand some of its advantages. The single sign-on feature allows users to use a single set of credentials to log in to access multiple applications on the platform. The feature eliminates the need to remember and manage multiple passwords, which can be frustrating at times. Users can now simply use a single access point to enjoy a seamless experience across multiple applications. The feature also improves the overall productivity of the team by reducing queries related to a password reset. Now that we know the advantages that single sign-on brings, let us learn about the two major steps involved to enable this feature. One, the configuration needed from the IT or infra team, and two, the account migration. For the account migration step, you will need to keep the SSO form handy. Simply log in to the pCloudy platform and click on the drop-down button on your profile. Next, you will need to choose Settings. Here, you can click on the SSO tab to access the SSO form. Now, let's take a look at the prerequisites that need to be fulfilled. To use the single sign-on feature, a user must have a validated pCloudy account and will need an Azure or Otka subscription to configure the SSO. In this video, we have taken the example of Azure AD SSO. First, we need to enable the Azure AD SSO in the Azure portal. For this, a user must log in to the Azure portal, create the app, and select Single Sign-On in the Manage section. Next, on the Select a Single Sign-On Method page, select SAML. On the Set up Single Sign-On with SAML page, Click the Edit or Pen icon to edit the basic SAML configuration. Enter the URLs on your screen into the Reply and Log URL fields respectively. Also, please ensure that the checkbox is selected to default in the Identifier and Reply URL section on the SAML configuration page. Next, we need to add the custom attributes such as email, first name, groups, and last name in the User Attributes and Claims section, as shown on the screen. In the SAML Signing Certificate section, find Federation Metadata XML and click on the Download link. Open the metadata.xml in an editor and copy the certificate required to fill out on the SSO form. The certificate section in the metadata.xml file will look like the format shown on your screen. The user will need to copy this information and paste it in the certificate field value on the SSO form. On the Setup Test Cloud SSO, the user will need to copy the Azure AD identifier and add it in the IDP issuer field in SSO form. The user will also need to copy the user access URL from the SAML properties page and paste it in the IDP single sign-on URL field in the SSO form. You will also need to update the display and domain name accordingly for ease of identity. Once these configurations are made available, the user can then convert the Peak Cloudy user account into an SSO account using the form. Simply enter all the required details into the fields and click on Save. A unique entity ID will be generated. The user can then enter this information in the Identifier Entity ID in the basic SAML configuration section. Once the configurations and permissions are set in place, you can log in multiple applications using a single set of credentials. For detailed instructions on how to set up the single sign-on option, please follow the documentation link in the description box below. Write to us at support at pcloudy.com for any queries or additional assistance.